what's up guys it's your girl alex Dan with two eyes and today i'm back with another video today i'm gonna be doing a real talk and we're gonna be talking about why people's opinions don't matter and this is like specifically in regards to your creative work like why people's opinions don't matter when it comes to your creative work and then also just like blocking out the noise you know you just gotta block out the noise so that's what we're gonna be talking about but before we get into the video please don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on post notifications especially subscribe because we are on the road to a thousand guys we just hit 800 which i'm so happy about i really appreciate it guys i literally really appreciate it in general i don't care what people think i don't care what people say i don't care about people's judgment i don't care and that's something i like about myself that i really don't give a you know what people have to say about me and stuff but because you know i'm new on youtube and there's a lot to learn i was really you know taking people's opinions into consideration you know i was being told to do this told to do that told to do this told to do that and i was just like it kind of made me start to get a little bit lost um and it kind of made it a little less enjoyable because i was getting so confused on what i should be doing with my channel and what direction i should go in with my channel if you don't do youtube this can just be in relation to whatever maybe you're confused about what you should do with your music what you should do with your art what you should do with whatever like this can be applied to like lots of different things i'm just talking about like my experiences with people's opinions in regards to my youtube channel so i was really listening to what people had to say because i really appreciated that people were like taking the time out of their day to give me advice give me opinions on what i should do and try and help me out right i really appreciate that but the problem is like the more i kept listening to everybody's different opinions and stuff that you know i started to get super confused like i was just like oh no i was starting to get scatterbrained you know i would get on the phone with my friends and i'd be like i don't know i'm just super scatterbrained right now i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i don't know what to do and my channel is a hot mess like <laughs> there's so many different things on my channel you know what that's okay i'm gonna figure it out as i go right but to be able to keep going i have to be doing things that i enjoy and you know that make me want to turn on the camera that make me want to spend hours editing right but you know when I had all these different like opinions thrown at me about what I should do and whatnot. It made it harder to turn on the camera. It made it kind of harder for me to figure out what I should do. And like I was already confused and then hearing everybody else tell me this, tell me that, tell me that just made it worse. I appreciate everyone's like advice and you know I had some amazing wisdom I was told. But it was just getting a lot. It was just getting a lot and I couldn't like figure out what direction I wanted to go to. And like I said I'm so confused. But you have to block out people's opinions. You have to block out the noise to be able to stay on the path that you want to be on or even just stay on the path that you're passionate about. So in order for me to like want to pick up the camera and want to edit, like I really had to block out what people were saying to me to like be able to have fun while doing this because I don't want it to not be fun. I want it to be enjoyable. I want it to be fun. I like doing YouTube. I love to edit. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of like taking into consideration people's opinions and whatnot, like what that was doing to me making me feel confused i also like would put a lot of pressure on myself i really take youtube seriously and sometimes i would take it so seriously that it was almost like a job to me but then that also takes away a little bit of the joy from it so people's opinions like just this that, 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 do this do that do that do that do, that, do this do reactions don't do reactions da, 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 do this diversify da, 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 reach an american audience da, da, da. like you know um on top of that um like with myself being like hey you need to post this many times a week hustle 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 it was just like getting like obviously too much in my brain and i was just like <laughs> i was like okay okay i'm like okay so i had to block it out i got off my phone for a few days which is something i do a lot i take a few days off my phone super often i really really hate phones i've talked about this in another one of my videos i don't like phones so you know i took a few days off my phone and i just started to like not listen to what people said about my youtube anymore not listen to the advice even though it was coming from a good place i just started to not listen and then i started to understand some things that i had been told from people on a deeper level so you know an artist that i knew he would play me like eight million unreleased songs but he, he would blast them in the car and he would never ask for my opinion on them and i thought that was so rude i was literally like that's so rude why would you play me a hundred million songs for me to listen to and then not even ask what i think about them but now i understand because let's say he loved this song he made and i told him i thought it was horrible now he would be maybe confused about it if he listened to me but maybe that was his hit maybe that's his number one song maybe that's the song that's gonna make him sign by the label but i just told him it sucks i just told him i hate it like you know what i'm saying so i understand why he didn't want to hear my opinions because then that would make him confused about his direction and what he thought he wanted like his thoughts and his opinions on his own art to be clear so he didn't want to hear what anyone else had to say 
And I understand that now. I used to take that as rude, but now I understand. Like, you don't always want to know what people think about your stuff. Like, you just want to do your thing. And then also, like, another thing I think about is Ruby Rose, one of my favorite, like, female rappers. She said all her friends hated her song Big Mouth, which is the song that blew up and got her signed. Imagine she listened to her friends' opinions. This is what I mean, guys. Block it out. Block it out. I'm not saying not to listen to people's wisdoms, but people's opinions literally don't matter when it comes to your creative journey. You're the only one that's going to show out for yourself 100%, 120%. So you're the only one you should really be listening to. Once I took some time off my phone and I just really started to block out what people were saying to me, it became like I started to get ideas in my head again and whatnot because like my creativity was kind of stunted by being so overwhelmed by everybody's thoughts on what I should do. But like the only person who can make those decisions is me and although I'm still having trouble with what direction to go with my channel I still have time I can still try things out see what works see what doesn't work see what I like to do see what I don't like to do to you know stay on the path that I want to be on and whatever okay basically the main takeaway that I want you guys to have from this video is that people's opinions on your creative work become noise that cloud your direction and your path so you, I'm like moving my head, I'm like, so you have to block out the noise to make sure that you're doing things you want to do because in the end, nobody else is you and you can only do things the way you do them in a creative, in a totally different way than anyone else could do it. Even if someone copies you, they're still not you and they're not coming from the exact same place as you. So what you do is always going to be unique because it's you. That's my rant guys, you know, I have these little rants all the time and I try to write them down so I can turn them into YouTube videos because I really have these little rants that I go on. This was just really like relevant because it was something I was struggling with, just everyone's different opinions on what I should do with my channel. And even though it came from love, it came out of a good place, it still kind of made my head all jumbled and I had to really just block out the noise. That is basically that guys. I love you. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, especially subscribe because we're on the road to a thousand guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. I love you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Love you. Bye.